In this video, Mark Bello of a Pizza Casa Pizza School demonstrates the art of pizza making. This video is recorded at Pizza Expo. Mark made the dough in his hotel room. For more information on Mark, I'll link above to a video interview with Mark discussing a Pizza Casa. A Pizza Casa means pizza at home. Here's Mark making pizza. Made it in my hotel room. Yeah. Let Las Vegas tap. Don't let them say that you can't make a great pizza without, you know, because New York, it's all about the water. Las Vegas tap, my friends. All right. Are you getting the audio of that? You hear the snap, crackle, pop? Okay, cool. And this is, and then, um... All right. Have you seen these dough presses in action? Oh, dude. All right. Wow. Is that... Wow! Oh, yeah. That was impressive. Mm -hmm. like, that was yeah. very impressive. All right, cool. And then, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thanks, Al. All right. A little shuffleboard wax, aka semolina. All right. Okay, so a little bit of cornmeal going down. Semolina. Semolina. Yeah, semolina, durum wheat flour, pasta flour. Cornmeal, yes, please. Uh, okay. Now, I'm not, I'm gonna dock this dough. At home I don't, but I'm not 100% yet because I've been playing with the Las Vegas tap and all that kind of stuff, so I'm, just so we don't have a balloon. Right. All right, so I'm gonna dock it. Good. Okay, now. And Mark, why would you dock the dough? Um, well, because, okay, so first of all, I, my philosophy with pizza, bubbles are extra points. Like, I want the bubble slice. Like, if we're sharing a pizza and the slice with the bubble is on that side, that's the slice I'm going to grab first. But in this case, annoying because what this machine does is it kind of sears the outside. Different doughs behave different ways. Some require docking, some don't, because if you don't dock them, you get essentially this expansion and you just have this big, like too cavernous, you know? Um, and again, given the a la minute style of this demo, and I'm not yet super familiar with how this dough performs, though it is my recipe from New York, I'm docking it just to ensure, because I don't have a bubble popper, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, all right. You know what this is? Yeah, your personal pizza spinner. But do you know what it's called? No. Do you know what these are called? Do you know what this is called? Sausage. Uh, it's better. It's called the spoodle. Spoodle. So it's take the word spoon and ladle, smush them together, spoodle. And then what the spoodles do is they come in different sizes. So I know that for this 16-inch pie, I want a six-ounce pour of sauce. So it's like essentially it's a pre-measure six ounces of sauce down, and then the flat-bottom nature of the spoodle. Poodle is also a breed of dog. When you breed a poodle with a no, you know. All right. I don't have a dog, but if I did, I would have a poodle. All right. Looks good. All right, and then uh, whole milk, shredded, low moisture mozzarella. We like a the grande. Thank you, Terry, for hooking us up. She was very cool. Is it the same? See the intense focus right now? This is shredded whole milk, low moisture mozzarella. And I'm specifically using a brand called Grande, which is a Wisconsin company. I love the cheese, I love the way it melts. I love that I don't have to like, what you see now is not like this pile on of cheese. 
and when it bakes, it melts and spreads out beautifully. It gives a really nice coverage, and in addition, uh, it's got a lot of flavor. So, so this was six ounces of sauce, eight ounces of cheese, 16 ounces of dough, um, a little bit of Romano cheese, just to give it that extra umami kick when it bakes. And now, wait, who's got a timer? Timer. Yeah, like a stopwatch. Okay. All right. So I wanna, uh, All right. You know what I do? Like we're not stuck in here. Cool. Are you guys looking to do ovens? Yes. The big ones, little ones, or yeah, yeah. And like you can do a four decks in like less than three square feet. It's pretty amazing. All right. So this guy. All right. So predicting based on our 600 degree deck and floor temperature, about a five minute bake. And, and all I'm going to possibly need to do is give it one rotation so it cooks even front and back because it cooks a little bit less in the front because of the door. <clears throat> and then we're going to get nice color all around, nice bit melt and caramelization on the cheese. So pureed tomatoes, um, my special blend of herbs and spices, which is basically salt. wild dried oregano and this stuff is not this is like we buy like pillowcases full of this stuff like it's really super nice really really like yeah it's really crunchy yeah really great it's the chronic one you talk about yeah so and then uh and then this is just in this case i was just using a good quality garlic powder like i could use a fresh garlic and microplane it in there but keep it simple right so yeah all right, what's our time on the bay? Yeah. 3.31. What? 3.31. Yeah. So I'll give it a spin in like about 30 seconds and then, uh, yeah. Wow. How's it going? So like, what are we at, four? Yeah. Honey? Yes. Four minutes? Four and twelve. Right. Yeah, so we're gonna go for just five for the sake of we said five, we're gonna do five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then Albert gets to be the, the taste tester and tell us what he thinks. Oh, so you want me to burn the roof of my mouth? No, we're gonna let it. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're not gonna do that. Part. That we sort of stays with you. Where are we at? Four forty-five. Ooh, ooh. Ready? Yeah. Oh, and then also, let's see. What's the bottom look? Nice. Awesome. Good. Good little uh, undercarriage. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. All right. Cool. Are you getting some shots of this? Yeah. With Albert being the pizza paparazzi. Cool. Thank you, Mark, for this great pizza demo. You can find out more about a pizza casa by going to pizzaschool.com. Mark and Jenny Bello are the masterminds behind a pizza casa pizza school located in New York City. They lovingly teach the art of making pizza along with their wonderful staff of pizza makers. I've gone through the school and I highly recommend it. If you get a chance, check them out at pizzaschool.com. This video was sponsored by Pizza Therapy Pizza T-Shirt Collection. If you want to spread the message of pizza, go to pizzatherapy.com slash tea. You can also find other amazing T-Shirts at that link go to pizzatherapy.com slash t or just click below this video pizza on earth goodwill 
to all.